items do you actually need for shooting in PRS or NRL style competitions? Today on Precision Rifle Network. Okay, so it's been a couple of years since I've done a video like this and my gear has changed. Uh, some of it uh, pretty significantly and some of it um, some of it has stayed the same, but I thought, you know, there's a lot more shooters, a lot of new shooters just getting into this. In fact, if you look on like Google and things like that, of the things people are searching for, they want to know what gear uh, is recommended by pro-level shooters. I don't put myself in that category, but I'm not a newbie either, and so uh, I think uh, I would be qualified to offer a video on kind of the top gear that people are using. So I'm going to do a bag dump today, going to pull out all my gear hopefully not make it too long for you and I don't want it to be kind of a floating head me sitting right here behind a table uh, with a sterile black backdrop unfortunately that's what I have to work with in the man cave today but as I talk about each individual item I'll give you some b-roll we'll cut in and uh, hopefully make it a little bit more interesting so let's just go ahead and get this going right away so the pack that I use is the Eberly stock and this is a frame pack so uh, it's called their mainframe pack, and really it just comes with the pack itself, um, you know, with the shoulder straps and the waist belt and all that, and it's just a metal frame pack. Then the bag here is actually a separate duffel bag that you can buy uh, that zips right on to the frame pack. I like it because it's got a rigid pack, I use it for hunting, I use it for competition, it just carries everything I need, right? And then also, I can make it a very nice, kind of tight, compact package, I can shoot off of this, I can actually stand it up, throw a game changer on top, I can shoot off of it from a seated position when I'm hunting, uh, you know, just if I need a hasty support or something like that, don't have time to set up my tripod those kinds of things. So I like this kind of a pack. It's also large enough and sturdy enough that I can strap my rifle to it if I need to. I'm typically carrying that around with a sling though, which is what I would recommend to you. Um, but that's the pack. Let's go ahead and get on to the inside. Oh, actually, I forgot. Right down here, this bright orange thing. This is just a, uh, a tourniquet that I carry on just in case, you know, that sorts of things. So we're gonna go ahead and open this thing up and get into the inside contents. All right, so the first thing I'm going to pull out here is uh, this bag here. We'll just talk about each individual bags and the contents, and then we'll move on to the next thing. All right, so the bag itself is a ditty bag that is sold by um, Armageddon Gear. So if you're looking for that, I can't remember what this particular bag is called, but I'm fairly certain they've got them available on their website. So if you're interested in the bag itself, it's kind of nice. It's got a main zippered pocket and two smaller pockets zippered on the side. But as we open this up, uh, first thing, that I always pull out, of course, is going to be the Kestrel. Obviously, during long range competition, we need to have data for our, for our long range engagements, right? So we need to know what our drop data is of our rifle and our cartridge out to distance. That's where a Kestrel comes into play. It can take into, all, into account all the environmental factors, wind, you name it, and do all the mathematics and the calculations for you. So I believe a Kestrel is probably one of the main essential pieces of kit that you could get. You could definitely use paper charts, and I know some guys do, and there's absolutely Absolutely nothing wrong with that. I just prefer the Kestrel, so I recommend that to people. All right, going through here too, and I'm not going to explain every single piece of gear. I'm just going to pull it all out, show it to you, and then just tell you that you know, hey, I think this is essential or I don't. So I've got the uh, the Victronics Terrapin X here for my rangefinder, and it's a great rangefinder. Uh, but what? Some people would say you don't really need it at, at these uh, Precision Rifle Series or National Rifle League competitions because the distances are already given to you, right? So if you just want to trust, trust the match directors, um, you know, that, they're, that they've done it correctly, which, you know, I usually do just trust them. But if, there's, if I'm missing on a target all of a sudden, I may grab the range finder and range it just to make sure because there have been errors. So I like to carry it in the pack. We've got mags, of course, uh, and I'm shooting either the 6 Creedmoor or the 6 GT. I kind of go back and forth. Uh, I've got my arm board, right? So this is something that I have done, you know, exclusive videos on uh, in the past. But you got to have something. Uh, some people mount a little card on 
the side of their rifle in order to be able to check their drop data in the middle of a stage. I prefer an arm board. Uh, you know, it's six to one, half a dozen to the other. You ask, you ask a dozen people, you're going to get, you know, six different answers. Um, but uh, for me, it's the arm board. I use painter's tape over the top of it, um, you know, and I just write my data down on it and, and I go from there. Um, so I use a little wind checker like this. It's just got powder in it. It's usually used by hunters, but a little puff of dust comes out and you can tell right away which direction the wind is blowing. I kind of like that. Also on my tripod that you can't see right now because the camera is on it, actually here. Let me do this for you. Um, I use these uh, that red wind flag right there, and that is from Coltac. Um, and I've been using the uh, the wind flags lately, and I, I just think they're a great option. Uh, I carry some Sharpies in here. I carry some gloves, uh, some sunscreen, batteries for the Kestrel, uh, extra set of foam earplugs, and a sling. Um, this is the SS loophole sling from Hob Hog Saddle. All right, so right here I have got the uh, ammo novel from Coltac. Usually I only go to one day club matches. I very seldom go to two day uh, PRS or NRL style big matches or anything like that. Um, just don't have the time or the money anymore. And so um, I used, I only really need 100 rounds, right? It's usually a one day match, roughly nine to 10 stages, roughly eight to ten shots so I can get everything that I need as far as ammo is concerned. Just a, a really good product again from, from Coltac. So there's that. Um, this little ditty bag is a, a dump pouch that actually came with my Terrapin X and uh, I use that for my spent, uh, my spent brass. All right, this little bag here is just full of, it's just a little army surplus ditty bag. This is my tool pouch. So I'm not gonna get into everything in here, but you know, I've got a bag with some, uh, with some screwdrivers and, and Allen wrenches in there. I've got uh, Leupold's version of the fix-it sticks. I really need to pick up one of the new rifle specific uh, fix it sticks kits and and um, you know if you're not familiar with these it's basically just a little ratcheting driver uh, from fix it sticks and you've got different torque values there's a 65 and a 25 and um, you can just attach all kinds of screwdrivers and, and just different attachments onto there those things are invaluable I think you should check out fix it sticks if you're interested in a kit like that um, that's my tool kit so here's another product from Coltac um, starting to catch a theme there. I really like Armageddon gear and Coltac and uh, Reezer Game Changer and, and MDT. You're starting to see a pattern probably. Um, but uh, this little product from Coltac is really nice. I've got different, uh, you know, like paper, like my data, my drop data on paper here if I need it. I've got pens, pencils, there's a little clipboard built in. So if I want to put, um, you know, like the, uh, the course of fire from the match director in here on a clipboard. Uh, right now it's the instructions for my zero compromise optics scope the, so that I can go back and reference it every once in a while. Um, here is a, um, a G-code, a taco style um, holster for, for an, a backup magazine. I do usually take this with me. Uh, depending on the stage, sometimes you have to, um, you know, it's a 14 round stage or something and you're going to have a mag change. So I'll put a backup magazine in that. Uh, I do have the Gray Ops um, gamer plate or, you know, mini, sorry, uh, Gray Ops, I can't remember what you call this. <laughs> uh, but it, it, it's uh, kind of, the, we call them the gamer plates, right? Because it attaches to the bottom um, Arca Swiss rail underneath your rifle, allows for a very nice solid flat platform uh, to then put on top of your barricade bag when you're shooting positional and really helps to stabilize uh, your shots. So um, that's a really nice product as well. The main uh, barricade bag that I swear by, this is like literally Gen 1 OG Reezer game changer here that's still going strong. It's just the canvas on the outside with like the little beans or whatever they are on the inside. It's a good weight, it's a good size. I'm really all about surface area. So this thing is so nice and broke in and just still going strong. I don't see any reason to change off of this, and uh, I highly recommend the uh, the Reezer Game Changer products. And you can find all that stuff uh, through Reezer, or also uh, main area is probably Armageddon gear. And then uh, I did go with the pint size, the new. I've been using the Sand, the heavy fill pint size, 
uh, in the wax canvas. I recently switched to um, the lightweight, the Get Light Fill, and uh, this is perfect. I won't be going back from this. I love the Get Light Fill on the pint size. It's what I use for my rear bag. Uh, obviously, just not a single complaint with it. Um, and so, guys, th that's about it. If I had to say there were five things that you absolutely needed um, to shoot these matches, um, number one, it would be uh, a main barricade bag, right? I would recommend the Reezer Game Changer. And then I would say you need a rear bag and a smaller barricade bag. So the pint size Game Changer is absolutely a great option for that. So that's two. Um, the third thing would be uh, some sort of a tool kit. Okay, just in case things go wrong or something comes loose and you need to torque it in the middle of a match, you've got that. Um, I would say you need a way to carry your ammo, whether that's plastic boxes if you prefer. I choose the Ammo Novel from Coltac. I think it's great. And the last thing, of course, would be some way to, um, to gather data or, or have your drop data on you or close by so that you can see it. And for me, that's, that's the Kestrel with applied ballistics. So if I had to boil them all down, there you go, guys. Consider supporting through Patreon. Guys, really appreciate you watching the video today. And um, stay tuned for another great video.